scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Lord, let's lift up our hands everywhere inside and outside. Let's bless His name. Father, we give you all the praise. Bless him in one minute. Let's lift our hands. Jesus, we honor you for the mighty things that you will do tonight. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead and exalt him for his power in this place. Jesus, we bless you. Thank you. One minute I want you to pray and say father invade my life and change everything everything that needs to be changed can you pray pray with faith in your heart Jesus we bless you make it ma make it ma From the depths of your heart. Make your mind, make your mind, make your mind. Ah, boo, ah, boo, why come on the pain? Ah, boo, ah, boo, why come on the pain? Make your mind, make your mind, make your mind, make your mind. Make you mine, make you mine, make you mine, make you mine. Babu, babu, why he come on the train? Babu, babu, why he come on the train? Oh.
when it comes to dealing with the Holy Spirit is to have the discernment to be able to allow atmosphere that permits the multifaceted dimensions of him to find expression is a price to create that atmosphere but if and when you do then there is no limit to his outstretched arm if and when you do the price is the alignment and the discernment to be able to set that atmosphere are we together now and when that atmosphere is set and then he comes then he reveals jesus in a remarkable way spirit of the living god we thank you mighty things you will do mighty things you will do we honor you and we bless you in the name of jesus god bless you please be seated for a few minutes our time is gone there's so much to do hallelujah can we honor all those who have led prayers worship great people bless our worship team international is the name hallelujah amen thank you jesus those following us online the lord bless you the lord will honor you and touch you and um those outside there's so many people overflow one two three four by the road may the lord honor you and bless you in the name of jesus christ let me just take a minute or two to inspire and encourage someone um, i just felt it really strong while i was preparing to come before we look at that scripture you can leave it up there but you see let me teach you something about commanding results among the many factors that are responsible please listen among the many factors that are responsible for producing results you need a very strong sense of desire and determination no one ever succeeds becoming passive careless and um, less as fair about life there is a level of passion and commitment you must communicate whether it is the pursuit of spiritual things your finances your life ministry business whatever it is success will always find expression in an environment where passion desire you know lots of believers want great things they want to step into deep dimensions of intimacy with the holy spirit many people want to walk in miracles signs and wonders they want very superior dimensions of the spirit manifested in their lives but largely our the communication of our desire and our determination the staying power the capacity to remain until that dimension is unfolded in your life i think that that is where many of us believers need to make a lot of adjustments we are generally very passive very very passive and very quite careless over the communication of our determination for spiritual things and you see the thing about god is it takes a level of desire god loves everybody he does not trust everybody trust is based on a track record a track record of hunger a track record of a, a predeterminate desire in your heart many of us have come here tonight i came i saw people outside you know some lying flat trusting god for a miracle probably they were carried here you know and all of that there must be a desire you may not have the power in yourself to lift yourself up from the wheelchair or from the crutch or whatever it is but you must communicate that passion i love the people who led the prayers they kept adjusting our faith to understand that look it will take a hunger and a desire the moment you have options then forget about encounters are we together you have to insist tonight and say lord i'm not walking out of here barren i'm not walking out of here sick i'm not walking out of here with the same level of confusion 
I'm not walking out of here bankrupt of that dimension of the anointing. I came with an exact desire, an exact intention. And whenever you insist, you provoke the hand of God. This is very true. Psalm 30. Look at 37. I think it should be 37. It just came to my spirit. I'm searching for that scripture now. Yeah. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the what? The desires of thy heart. It is possible for God to come to a man and not be able to communicate anything because there is no desire. Are we together now? Now, you see, God is almighty. His possibilities are endless. It takes the construction that our faith builds to channel the dimension of him that we seek to see revealed in our lives. Are we together now? If you're not barren, there is no need God coming to reveal himself as one who can open up your womb. You're not barren. That dimension of him is possible, but it is not needed as far as your desires are concerned. So it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation. Lord, I am trusting that you will visit me. I am crippled. I am trusting that this leg will work. Lord, there are all kinds of oppression in my life. All doors have been closed. I'm trusting that the doors will be open. You cannot say, Lord, just come, do whatever you want to do. That's not a very wise prayer. You have to define. He said, give us this day. He didn't just say what we want. Give us this day our daily bread. He can give many things. He sent quails. He sent bread. He brought water out of the rock. There are several things he can do. You define the possibilities of God that should be communicated to you through your faith. But much more than just blind faith through specificity. Specificity of desire. Specificity of um, intention. Are we together now? So I just thought that it is very important. In fact, this is a general principle that works in life. Not just when it comes to receiving from God. You will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire. You will never achieve anything when there is no specificity there has to be that dimension of exactness lord i am trusting you for a move of the spirit in my life i'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension i'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension end the plague of sickness and all kinds of things when you connect this way then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle hallelujah praise the lord let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up john 14 verse 12 i am a firm believer in the bible the words of jesus are no story to me when i read them i believe them they are not just scripture they are life i believe them exactly as they are written jesus is teaching here and this is what he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me whoever believes on me he says the works that i do he shall also do and greater works than this shall he do because i go to the father jesus now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly jesus was talking about um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality other people talk of greater results regardless of what dimension you look at it jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with listen carefully a dimension that is god's own class of results are we together now he's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible and this is what he says he says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest you will walk in and you see, every time God speaks, before he utters a word, he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word. Every time he speaks, it is a communication of a, a resolve. He has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it. There are several people in need of the touch of God people talk about anointing all the time they want to step into deeper dimensions they want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities and by the way 
I want you to know that there is a mighty move of God that is happening across the continent of Africa, specifically Nigeria. Um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening. It takes the eye of the Spirit to see the formation. There is a mighty, mighty move of the Spirit. An awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth the, the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons that a time will come in the dealings of god with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility they will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known so i want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of god and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing god find full expression there is no limits to the dimension of god that can be revealed every time god looks limited the limitation is not his capacity it is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him are we together now and tonight there are several cases right from home i began to see several situations that touched my heart and i said lord you can't let your people go that way and the lord put something in my heart that i just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray I have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter a true encounter not just a noise making encounter an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life heaven found expression in your situation heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that jesus is not limited in any way if you believe that say amen hallelujah first john chapter 5 and verse 4 apostle john taught us something very remarkable first john chapter 5 and then verse 4 and he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world are we together now that's the expression there whatever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with god to actualize it are we together now so here the bible says whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world the rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it and then he says and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression he says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles 
that those realities that are represented in the Bible must find expression in my life and your life when the Bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is is an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the Bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes a spirit of revelation ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom nicodemus came to jesus by night chapter 3 of john and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse nicodemus says how can how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up up to another dimension he says verily verily i say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of god with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we are going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of god are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in god faith is not just believing unseen things um they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction you'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering no sir encounters are necessary for believers that's why the holy spirit was given to us the spirit of truth are we together now so he introduces encounters in our lives you can read 
the Bible and quote a scripture, it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture. You may even learn it and know it off heart. Sincerely speaking, it has not been released in your heart. But when the Holy Ghost breathes upon it, it does something to you. And that scripture comes alive. It's called an encounter. Occasionally, it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction. But the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion, unbending resolve. Persuasion. About the possibility of God as far as that matter is concerned. Are we blessed? Second Timothy, please, chapter 1 and verse 12. Let's look at Second Timothy 1, verse 12, the B part. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um, the haze that is around our encounters with the Word of God not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if I look at this gentleman right now and I tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat. Are we together? He's had an encounter with that seat. His, his, even his physical senses have, have responded to that reality. He knows he's sitting. No matter how I try to sway him, he has entered a dimension of resolve. He knows he's sitting on a seat. If I tell him this seat is going to break, he says, no, not just that I, I have seen the dimensions. I understand the strength of this seat. It can take my weight. Listen. God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys they are fierce and so is it okay if I ask for a sign it is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced I know that there are people here pastors who have come from several places let me challenge you do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter it will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry. You will lack explanations. You will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life. I always say never stand before Pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush. Say encounters. Bible faith starts with encounters. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions now allow you to act and take steps. It is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction 
of who God is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now I've always given this example um, let me use you John hold on I'm going to stand there stand there just stand there I'm going to call John I want you to answer me but don't come is that all right John come say I'm coming has he come so as far as I'm concerned you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience now you have answered that you are coming but you have not come I interpret your not coming as a sign that you you are expressing concern about my reliability you are wondering if I really have this but if I say John come and you come come that step of faith puts pressure on my integrity if I am joking I better found a way of correcting it are we together now yes the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 listen the Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer and then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled now they were not stupid that man was crippled if you've seen a crippled man you know that there are no strength in his limbs even if he stands you know that he would take the grace of God and then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms and then Peter said silver and gold have I none he said but such as I have listen I give unto you he says in the name of Jesus I come under an authority I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government and I ask you if you believe stand the Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities, but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood. He would have remained there forever. He leaping stood. Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important. Because faith is based on a basis. And the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the Holy Ghost helps your unbelief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that God is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging 
their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the lord your tithe are we together now no matter how much you confess your heavens opening you must take that action and if you take that action not believing you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of melchizedek right like he received the tithe of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam." that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising god and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we start scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir 
it will always come from God through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen God did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away There are people here with sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. Is their educated opinion. But tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words there are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues husband is about to go wife is about to go children are haywire and they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting god for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes i don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice 
anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for God wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty Lord what is the way out Lord what is the way out I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting God for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had God but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction and finally all of these are lists that the spirit of god was just writing out for me as i i mean just stating out as i i i wrote them out and lastly there are people here trusting god for very strong impartations what is an impartation a transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this I want you to know that the God of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies. It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. The Lord is going to be healing the sick. The Lord is going to be setting the captives free. And like I told us last week, it is also an anointing service. And I don't, I don't do anointing services carelessly, but there are instructions that God gave me. The anointing oil that will be used tonight, the Lord asked me, it's been with me since uh, i think yesterday i prayed with it all through until um it was only this morning while i was coming that i carried it and brought it there is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that God is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know I humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe 
Say, Lord, tonight I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden, you will find out that that door that has been closed, maybe forever. Listen, it doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the Spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the Spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight. And insist. Thank you. And say Lord that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while. That you get up in the morning and within three days, one door opens, another door opens, another dimension of encounter. All of a sudden hunger, all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar. I mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles, signs and wonders. You bless people, you shake someone's hand and all through that day, a door opens. You introduce something. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural. Supernatural. Not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results. Literally, that your life becomes a testament. That they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas. And they call them Zeus and Hermes. Greek gods. Because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though God is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say Lord I have seen a dimension of your grace but I must step into it Lord I have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you overcome. The you are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive. The spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors. Come speed. Come speed. Loose chains. Loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations.
diminish the power of God it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or a non-believer whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians a dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God men have covenant with God not only old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you will fit us round you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You will defeat us around. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream now you know I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we used to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me Gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katabrakatalados. Enkreto katalabrande sekate prakatalabadas. Jabrete kate proskodo brandi gedibalas. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah.
We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows. One, two, three. By the grace of God. And He will grant us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Please bring the three people now that the power of God comes. I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here, all inside here now. Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. 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 Open I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys. We know she's on. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One. Two, three, take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Shake it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos e prekete kaya. No limitation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia e prekete ketos shakatos setas. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory, let the closed door open at the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access in the realm of the spirit. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Access to dimensions, access to levels, access to possibilities. Close doors opening. The Lord showed me gates, and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, 
there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of Jesus miracles in the name of Jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the Holy Ghost miracles in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles I release you now I release you now I release you now I release you now step into anointings step into graces in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of the Living God there are chains I'm seeing on people's hands chains 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 break it now chains break it now chains break it now get ready this road I see chains 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 let it break now let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord, a wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas kotos kaba embreke to shedele keta brata soto shopres keya ambrata ya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended. In the name of Jesus, make a parato gotosh, leke te kata, prakato zotosh, embre te kete karatosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the Spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings rings i curse it by the god of heaven i curse it in the name of jesus can i go out those outside i want you to get ready there is an anointing there is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika Ekre to Sopraka Maleke to Shekreskaya Ebrekete Ketelekata Shabrakato Skedea Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, 
no matter where you are I want you to believe as soon as I pass here no matter what the issue is the hand of God is about to touch you thank you Jesus right now let there be miracles now I pass this rose let there be miracles every strange spirit now be gone be gone be gone now in the name of Jesus be gone now every strange spirit the Lord Jesus is in this place the Lord Jesus is in this place I stretch my hands now over 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 by the anointing of the Holy Ghost over now in the name of Jesus now 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 in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I decree and declare I decree and declare stand up stand up in the name of Jesus hold the baby now out of her in the Jesus Christ I command that devil madam look at me the Lord is bringing you breakthrough now I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying in your tears I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. Yes, I'll speak in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out now, out now, out now, out now, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your sins are over, over. In the name of Jesus, over now. In the name of Jesus say no matter where you are no matter how far i want you to connect by faith look at me delay over your family ends now ends now in the name of jesus christ clear and declare by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost there is a spirit in this now in the name of jesus christ there's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here. God wants to now declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this, four now, three, overflow, three. at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, something is going to happen right to the back, I'm seeing fire, one, two, three, now, 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 cause those spirits, I release breakthroughs now, in this overflow, in the name of Jesus, to the back, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is someone. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because.
because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case don't think because you are standing it means you are missing no wherever you are God can locate you are we together now Salome Salome who is Salome someone outside here Salome I'm standing close to you Salome come stand here in the name of Jesus I set you free and I set your family free right now in the name of Jesus hold on it's two guys lift your hands two of you an anointing is coming on two of you now lift your hands these two gentlemen pray father let them take of that anointing now drink of that grace drink of that fire step into a new dimension now in the Jesus in the name of Jesus you are Salome in the name of Jesus Zonkua who is from Zonkua here Zonkua or something I'm hearing the Lord is asking me we have a lot to do we're going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now Zonkua hallelujah please don't don't make this place rowdy where are you from hold on don't don't cry don't cry are you sisters you are sisters there is a spirit of death in your family come what why are you crying is well things are not going everything is scattered okay look at me look at me two of you shout jesus as loud as you can one to go the end of it lord i set them free help them under the anointing please there is someone the spirit of the lord is ministering to me i don't know what god is people outside there is somebody around here want to prophesy to the person bring the person that's the person in the name of jesus christ i'm i'm seeing a snake god my god i'm seeing a not not this person i'm seeing a snake and the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus in the name of jesus here it is is coming now i see like light coming on someone right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i set you free now by the power of the holy spirit i set you free i'm ministering to people out ah is there a name like that Kauna, is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to very fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I'm seeing a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now, this very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very much because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to stand up. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um 
my God. I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now in the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit, the life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, leave. every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This row. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is renewing. 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 I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here and he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Please help them, my God. Let it be over. 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 Break it here. My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should, that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see right the lord is going to set them free because i've seen everything is tied down for this family nothing is working yes, sir. is that true the lord is going to step in now edo state edo state I'm from edo state what the spirit of god is showing me in the name of jesus christ i'm pray for you this father let there be a miracle right now i end it now name of Jesus Christ I end it right now in the name of Jesus Christ my God now see this thing the Lord shows me all the time please everybody lift your hands inside or outside lift your hands now I'm seeing a map I don't know why God always shows me this I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State now everyone from Benway State get ready the anointing of God comes upon you now Benway State Benway State the Lord is setting people free. Benway State, right now. Shekratos, Kalatos, inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State, inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State. Anointings. Mata Lakota. It's a sign and a wonder that the Lord does. Where He locates people by states. Locates people by states. I'm praying now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs or to go. Shakato Sekete, 
Egreto shala mariata Embra kato jataya la kosata Jesus There is power in the name of Jesus There are miracles in the name of Jesus There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Hallelujah 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 Jacob Jacob Jacob, you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe? I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Enugu. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, sound and Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover, the cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embre kete shala pradosa subriada. Shala brinde keto prasada Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My other sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in a miracle service. Is is these are not just miracles, they are called signs and wonders, they are operations of the spirit. You can see me call a state, and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit. It's not some magic, these are operations, these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord oh, Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe. The devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You're pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus, when are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. 
anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus thank you father the power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now end it right now family God is touching the families in the name of Jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the Spirit of God it's not by power in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? going to three years did she have a child before no but my brother has did she take in before no this person is wearing red i will pray for you but i'm seeing somebody wearing red this is the person in the vision the lord is showing me. who is that this is the person i saw but i will pray with you listen i want you to believe that no barren person there is no need to go back without a child it's, it's, there is not necessary hold on I'm not just praying for barren people at random but just let them come since they're here we'll pray for people we're about to pray for people now we'll take our time to minister the anointing is there you see that even the vigils sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning praise the Lord my friend you love Jesus Kai Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes. Uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things. But this guy, your own is acute. You are here. But truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing... That you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you are inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now my dear i want you to call where are they who, who are you standing in for Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. you 
no, you're the, my sister. your sister okay i want to pray the person i'm talking about please summon the courage to stand here i want to pray for you i want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready god is going to give her a baby boy huh in the name of jesus christ lord we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free i decree and declare let it be right now establish it in jesus name it's over now you are the one who came come we have to pray your brother you said they are barren i'm not seeing your brother barren yeah he, ha he has two children how, how many two children hold on let me talk to you how many children the first one was a miscarriage miscarriage how many children are there now the second one died like two weeks after i'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage they were born but they died two, two children now is there's no child at all the one they had died like weeks or so how many weeks two weeks, two weeks after birth one and one day and he just died we have to pray you understand you you're standing in for them and you believe god will help them we have to pray as you're praying for them it will never be part of your life you have no business with that thing somebody needs to come out this we we thing who is the person let's celebrate him don't don't feel bad <laughs> hallelujah he's your friend he's your brother he smokes this thing he smokes uh Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear you? I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see. Those leaves. There is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of jesus christ i agree with you i terminate the yoke of barrenness right now sister and brother in the name of jesus they take in now you're here for the same reason you're here for the same reason in the name of jesus you're standing for yourself your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise god we, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There is no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the message of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is, you understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what we are saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him 
Lord help this gentleman please I still insist this lady if God grants you grace in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you we love you and in the name of Jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ we pray for you that the power of this this substance abuse is broken in your life in the name of Jesus who is Rebecca 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we'll pray for the sick you can't imagine how the time is gone we're still going to anoint it's already morning Rebecca is there anyone huh? My sister. your sister I'll pray for you but what's your name what's your name Rebecca my dear come who is this Rebecca the lady that smokes is in this thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come, you're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, Maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you'll try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges. Their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies... It's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it in the name of love in the name of relationship and, and in the name of wanting to marry you they derail you from the path of God anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person that prayer has already been answered the answer is no leave the person quickly don't say I'm waiting on God God is not a fool are we together so go and meet Pastor Alpha he will help you eh? he will collect your details and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, 
I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that a song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanada. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanada. Gashina. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jabrato Scalabrende Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabrato Sosobredi Shikarata Fuya. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kaprato Scatafredi Shkalabrania Kata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Linkratoske, are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Man tekalas kotambria tato sizia takatalo karusia. Bredo go shubra diskala brata kataparadash. Lekata brando susi briata. Ekata. Jabrata shepregade bosh. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus, Lord, release miracles to families, release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare, agree with me. Right now, let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now. Lord, this is a representation of the Christ and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world lord we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word. Let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We call it done in the name of Jesus Christ. 
we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder I spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um if she doesn't feel the strength to stand don't force her or you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason out oh there there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise i lift up this jar of oil and in the name of jesus christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare the Lord is releasing people from all kinds of bondages the power of God is touching somebody outside in a mighty way somebody outside a devil of darkness you will let her go come out of her right now come out of her devil of darkness the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. It's against you tonight. Hallelujah. Let this girl go now.
foul devil of darkness. Come out of her. Out. You're free in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Let this girl go now. Thou foul devil. In the name that is above all names. Out you go. Out now. Come out of her. Out of her. Make sure everyone is connecting. This has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. The foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her. God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please. Look. Please. If you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead. In the name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Come out of her! Out of her! Come out! You're free. Same thing. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told that God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. 
Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, O God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell you something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I will see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is, this is, this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, Lums? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast or any part of your body, your neck, your waist, wherever, right now, I command it to disappear. In the name of Jesus, I command it to leave. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go ahead, begin to check yourselves. Come, bring that child. Can we have the mic, please? What's, 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 this, what's the issue? Help us with the mic, please. He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you'll meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit. Out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the... Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg. But I'm seeing light. Power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the front I was enlarging. So we went to hospital after the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? Undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you. Sir. What? Did you say? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself we keep on enlarging and the sinuses that is the sutures we keep on expanding does it have a medical cure um, the only medical cure is to drain the water but even as at that 
I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he might destroy the works of the Lord. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on, I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Canada. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this no. with me? Please, if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out, please. You for the first please, time but let her come out. You. If we, if if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I've me, I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. He will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby Amen. girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death, and tell your husband where is he walking. He work with the school. He and then said, what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him. Because this, this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing. So you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will die it one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. Amen. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was. He he's was still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. It's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Amen. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Who are you? You know them, or you are from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well, not him. You don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where's your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind them. You are a student? Yes. I finished my secondary school tonight. So I've been writing jumps. This is what graduation. you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here. People who know you who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is please? Who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? She has brain problem. Brain? She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah! What happened? 
just a house help. Oh, you are just a house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person. for them but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody is he a sick person who is that person inside or outside please let's save time more God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here he will come back with testimonies for this woman it's terrible hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes when you look at light like this it burns you seriously this thing started this year who is that person please who is that person who is that person no oh. is she the okay come Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting, also her eyes. it's affecting her eyes. I'll pray for her. Tell her I'll pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I'll pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not like I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage and. Uh, you want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. 
Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The yes, marriage sir. testimonies. Yes, Do you sir. believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural, inexplainable, the hand of God. Lift your hands. Hmm. In the name that is above all names. Now, there are some of you, as I pray, you see, some of you, what is stopping you is the hand of darkness. For a few people, not everybody, because I'm seeing spirits. The moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just wanted to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. Shake the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This row. I see an angel standing. There is one lady. 
the power of God will come upon you strong. That devil of darkness. Enough is enough. Just this room. Because I see the angel of the Lord standing. Lord, let that person come out. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. You will come out. You will come out. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Leave her alone. She will come out. No. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke bo shoto, ba toko bo te ke, re ke te bo zoko toba, le ke bo yata, ma re ke te 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 te, e ke bo ro toba kata. You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness. Inside and outside, this is a this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is an uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. 
heart return to your normal condition infection go in the name of the Lord Jesus as I lay hands on you whatever the issue is you will be healed of it whether heart, asthma be free right now please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned what are you coming out for? a hole in my heart always ever since I saw it from Osa after did the, the doctors treatment. tell you? Yes. After the treatment, the ulcer that's been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come. God will visit you. This has nothing to do with ulcer. Hmm? Where's your? You have an elder sister. Yes. Where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes. What What's she doing? She's married, but. The first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child, but this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground and she has not started talking. And I'm all this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, you. Look. No, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now. Are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me, don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Very well. What of you is not true? <laughs> How true is it? <laughs> eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, visit him. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? Because I believe in Ah, you do. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents, be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus.
We free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. What this means this is confusion and this is why god is telling me this is how your life is that's why i held you and i was walking god wants to set you free from serious confusion you are easily deceived anybody can tell you anything and that's why i was moving around this does not this is confusion you get easily deceived anybody just say anything and you believe can i pray for you Hold my hands, both of your hands. Hmm. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go, release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata, rekete bola kuso preti kadebos. That you will have a strong heart. The Bible says, "Be wise as serpents." What are you here for, my sister? Why oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Come heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it, it's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go! Cares, go! Yes, go!
Hallelujah. I want to pray <laughs> just leave her out because she's not recovering soon this one is not just deliverance God is taking I have found my servant David this is what is happening when God finds a man he doesn't leave you easily he makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place tonight. Because I tell you, Pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God, but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart. Come, sister. Unto him come. Who sits on the throne. Bless. Let God find you today. Are you hearing me? To Jesus. The Lamb. Hold my hand. Father, find a vessel in this lady. Do with her what only you can do. Ignite a fire in her spirit. Even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb who was slain Hallelujah The Lord is healing my grain headache The Lord is healing my grain headache My grain headache Intense My grain headache Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Precious here. Yeah. Precious. You are precious. Your real name, old one, precious. <laughs> Make sure it's the name your father gave you. Not the one you gave yourself this night. Say, I must be precious. God, he must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Shata kabalata The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Secretary. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. I see. Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Zombie.
Bekete Kelaya. Brata Pata Kata Baladaba. Just leave her. He cannot stand. He's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you. Are... No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in The green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we will make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. My name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated her. This thing, since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it come and line up here quickly quickly god wants to visit people i don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby Blessed is he. Amen. 
if there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now. Take it. Fall. Fall. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. 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 The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka balada bataka. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Healing anointings. Take it. Make sure you are receiving it. Anointings and graces. Anointings and graces. You will write songs. Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs. Psalms. Hymns. Spiritual songs. Psalms. Hymns, spiritual songs, receive it. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace, songs of healing. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension. But consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand. Some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer requests. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Please don't be in a rush this night. Because what God wants to do, he has not finished. 
Please, you are sick. Come out. Just call ushers. Help me and line them up. Please. Please. Quickly, quickly. This is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing. Please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is... Please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Malia Marako Sobreti Kalabash. Those of you... Those of you staying, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you, please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch. Help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus. We. Make sure you pass your prayer request. I tell you, there is a healing river. There is a healing river. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Holy Spirit, gentle touch is I pray for you begin to check yourself. Jesus, we believe Jesus. There is healing in your name, Almighty Father. Almighty Father, we lift our hands to you to receive the power. Jesus, we believe. Jesus. 
go, go, foul devil of God. There is healing in your name. There is healing in your name tonight. There is healing in your name. See sickness broken down now. There is healing in your name. Of her. Come out of her right now. You've oppressed this lady. Go, 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 go. There's no stay. The power of God is against you. Let her go. Let her go. I command restoration.
Probably one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing standing right across i see you god cannot allow you to go back the same way it's impossible you didn't come to meet an idol hallelujah rise up on your feet everybody it's a very prophetic moment right now as we pray i'd like to ask the ministers pastor williams pastor, so. please if you've not written your request drop it god is doing great things in this place as we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness, deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord, we pray. Just lay your hands across it as we release the virtue of perfection, total breakthroughs, academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God.
Hallelujah. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace, the God who says a thing and accomplishes it in the life of his children, the I am that I am, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request has seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need Every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know. That all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, Please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. 
Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage afflicting any family, I set you free now in the name of Jesus. I set families free now in the name of Jesus. I set families free now in the name of Jesus. I set families free now in the name of Jesus. Father, mother, brothers, sisters, be free. 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 Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members, looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days i place a demand upon the heavens receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs for you for your loved ones for you or for your loved ones. I don't care how long they have waited. Tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that yoke of delay is broken in the name of Jesus. Let the next admission list of various higher institutions carry their names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those with any kind of academic issue, I don't care what it is. Any kind of academic, whether missing scripts. You're on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You're doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight. In the name of the Lord God of Israel. The one who does wonders in this place. I declare. Step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones. See, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight, I pray that your wife's 
and your husbands those of you who are who have concubines and etc when i make the altar call run out here because this is what will stop you you are entitled to only one wife say amen you are entitled to only one husband say amen the spirit of double dating dies here tonight leave another sister's husband to locate her husband leave another brother's wife to locate him but I pray in the name of Jesus before the end of this year may there be fearful or inspiring miracle marriage take it take it before December 31st come back with testimonies for yourself for your loved ones we supply the resources we supply the grace hallelujah hallelujah any terminal disease in this place HIV whatever it is hallelujah infections all kinds of satanic names I declare right now we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names be changed be changed to AA I change it in the name of the Lord receive it receive a change of genotype you will come back with testimonies believe it, receive it everything he made he made it beautiful any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness some of you see people sleep with you some of you see all kinds of demonic things molestations of darkness i pray right now the last time you had that dream or that experience let it be the last time forever in your life i said let it be the last time forever let it be the last time forever satan i curse you i curse every foul spirit who are students and are in final year I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation I pray right now let policies be changed let something happen in your faculty that has never happened we release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I want to prophesy restoration whatever it is that you have lost whether as a result of your past or mistakes opportunities graces i pray that the god who regulates times and seasons let that season come back to your life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them i want to speak there are lecturers whose promotions are overdue is that true is that true in the name that is above all names this night we command even offices that are not available we create it for them this night in the name of jesus the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for joseph tonight i connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level i connect you i call for the helpers of your destiny financial helpers marital helpers Career help us, spiritual help us, receive your ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you or your whether building project, whatever it is for you and for your families, you are building a three bedroom flat that's taking over ten years. This is a curse. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be supernatural supplies. The beds that brought food for the prophet, I command, may they locate your family. I open up the heavens over your family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack. There are some of you who are kingdom financiers. The power of God will come upon you. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Kingdom financiers. Now I pray for everyone. This cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open. I command your financial heavens be open. 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 There are two things that bring prosperity, favor and wisdom. Hallelujah. Money comes through favor. It is preserved through wisdom. The Bible says through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding it is established. Through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing. I pray. Let your hands receive wealth that only God can give. Inexplainable but undeniable. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you brothers, it is not by power. When it comes to prosperity, it is not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Two more things and we're up. I want to pray for favor. This is one of the things we enjoy in abundance. Hallelujah. I cannot tell you how the favor of God works. No man can explain it. But I know it works. I know it works. I am a testament. If you believe, I want you to believe. Many of you, you, you are used to suffering. You don't know what the favor of God can do. Some of our family members, what you need is the favor of God. Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor I tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a time for this venue
the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god i pray in the name of jesus the favor that is upon koinonia i take it and i release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now i activate favor 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 with god favor with man favor receive it favor koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the holy spirit hallelujah you cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for god you cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid many of you your prayer altars are dead it's not because you don't love god hallelujah many of you one leg in one leg out last year you were on fire this year hallelujah many of our mothers fathers people at home our prayer life our word life we're looking for things that only the word of god can give us but jesus said to martha i said one thing is needful one thing one thing i want to pray for you hallelujah alongside with this i want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit hallelujah paul said i long to come to you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established a powerless christianity and i'm not talking of just falling out christianity with results christianity with proofs we have too many talkatives in the body of christ inside or outside some of you have been crying and say lord can't my life not have proofs can't the sick be healed through my hands too can i not bless people and it will work for them hallelujah lift your hands i want to pray for you hallelujah i consider it to be an all-important impartation please get ready because it will come upon you different kinds of gifts of the spirit stirrings of the spirit at the count of three i want you to shout jesus at the shout of that name some of you will will be set on fire literally so that your spiritual life will be hot so that god will use you and do wonders are you ready shout it with all your heart at the count of three one two three
every result that we enjoy in this house may it be part of your life from today in the name of Jesus hallelujah I release entrepreneurial ideas there is a spirit listen I take from the abundance of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants lift your hands everybody in the mighty name of Jesus take it take it take it take it Jesus take it fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life Amen. to be a consolation to your Christian work. Amen. Any life that has not been experiencing results that you have never testified, may this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results, may this be your month. You believe this hallelujah I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside if you've never given your heart to the Lord please keep standing everybody you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ hear me inside and outside you are hearing my voice right now you have seen the works of the lord it's time for you to get into a real relationship with god or for some of you you have given your heart to the lord hallelujah but you found yourself derailing inside and outside the lord is speaking to you mother father whoever i want you to leave your seat and come out here right now i want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings the lover of your life inside and outside right now leave your seat and come koinonia appreciate them as they come everybody thank you thank you they are coming god bless you don't be ashamed don't be afraid god bless you thank you thank you our mother is coming celebrate them koinonia outside don't let the devil stop you mother father whoever yes it's time to surrender surrender appreciate them it doesn't matter what your past is God can give you a new beginning Don't allow the person you came with to stop you This is the greatest miracle Another Jesus Keep clapping Keep clapping, they are still coming The Holy Ghost is convicting them Inside and outside Thank you Jesus connected to the maker of your life I surrender more thank you Jesus on to be my God bless you sister God bless you brother and I surrender God bless you hallelujah I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, 
I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins. This night, I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord. And I accept him. My name is in the book of life. I declare that I'm saved. The Holy Spirit is in me. Eternal life is mine. From today, I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth, let it be discovered and maximized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God, you are free for me today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details and we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around. But we'll send, we'll make arrangements and I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We're closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshipping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming. Thank you. Thank you, Sas. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.